Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It's your boy Trady15 and today I'm going to be showing you my Black Ops 3 multiplayer class setup. Okay, in today's video I'm basically going to be showing you guys about the classes that I run in Black Ops 3. Like, just basically all the score streaks and classes and everything that's going on while I play multiplayer online. So first, first, first things first, since I just prestige, I'm 6 prestige, level 68. Got a couple of those prestiges off in the uh, Dub XP weekend. I actually started at 2nd prestige and I was like level maybe 30 something I believe. But... That's that's for another video. We're gonna go into this uh class setup right here. We have the KM44 equipped with fast max stock and extended clip or extended max as it's saying in the game. Also, we have the MR6 on this class, the trip mine, the um, perk one as flag jacket, perk two as scavenger, and perk three as tactical max. We also have a primary gunfighter on, so we have those two attachments. That one extra attachment. On the class okay so I'm gonna tell you guys why I use these attachments on each one of my classes or on the certain weapon that is on <laughs> so I use extended mags so that whenever I get into gunfights I'm always running into the spines and it's like two or three enemies coming out of the spines at one time so I have the extended mags on there so I'll be able to kill both of those enemies easily and just continue on capital flag and go to the next I also have the uh, fax mags on there so that whenever it's more than just two or three enemies I can easily reload fast and the stock is on there so that I can all strafe the enemy in the gunfight also like I said flag jacket is my first my first perk I use this perk in case that I'm on barrel flag and uh, enemy tries to chunk a grenade or C4 or maybe has a trip mine already planted there on Bravo I'll be able to survive the uh, explosion from it so moving on to the next, we have the scavenger for perk 2. I use scavenger because like I said, I'm always in uh, multiple gunfights where it's like two to three enemies at a time. So I need the scavenger to re-up on the ammunition and continue on with the gunfight and continue on with the gameplay. So next we have the tactical mass. A lot of noobs like to throw down like freaking concussions and shock charges and, and you know all those different types of equipments that make it so that you can't really see your mini map or can't move so the tech mass helps me so whenever they throw those things I can just keep trucking on and, you know kill them off the uh wherever they're at so in this gameplay last night I was making it well in this clip last night I was making it and I thought I had my in-game voice on and it was uh, a lot more I was going a lot more into detail on what I was doing with the class and it's basically going to be the reason why um, you see me talking less or more on certain weapons. Okay, but moving on into the next, we have the CUDA class. This is like probably my favorite submachine gun in the game besides the Vesper. But I use the CUDA right now because Vesper just got unlocked recently. But we're going to tell you what I got for my CUDA class. Alright, so like my last weapon, the KM44, the CUDA has on fast mag stock and extended mags equipped with MR6. The MR6 is probably going to be swapped off for either the RK5 or the L Car 9, depending on how I feel. I might just take it all out and just add a, um, a perk 2 grid. I don't know yet. But this is what I basically use for this class. The secondary as the MR6 or the L, the L Car 9. And the same thing with this class. We have the fast mags on here for the uh, reload fast whenever you're in gunfights. Extended mag, so then whenever I'm in gunfights with multiple enemies I can easily pick them off and stock so that I can all stray from honestly the stock is way better on submachine guns in this game than it is on assault rifles so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna always run the stock up on my submachine guns not always on assault rifles but you know it all depends on who I'm playing against or what I'm trying to do so with this uh, next class I have the man of war and the Attachments I have equipped on here are going to be stock, fast mag, rapid fire, and I believe I also run. I cannot remember the other uh, attachment that I run in this class, but it's going to be rapid fire because of the firing rate on the uh, the man of war is not as high as some of the other assault rifles in the game. The rapid fire helps you get those easy kills, maybe one to two less shots than what it would normally take in a gunfight. Also, I have the fast mags on here because the man of war is just kind of a slow reloading weapon. Oh, and also the other attachment that I have on this weapon is the elo sight. Sometimes you might see me switch between the reflex and the elo, depending on who I'm playing against, depending on how I feel that day. But in my opinion, I feel like the reflex is a better sight in this game for assault rifles so you're gonna see me run elo if i do run a uh, sight up on the submachine gun which i rarely do you're gonna see me run elo on the submachine gun moving on to the next i'm using the krm right now shotgun so that i can get my low blow medals so you know this, this not 
a weapon that is normally in my class setup but right now I'm running laser sight on it you might see me put on a quick draw or something like that depending on what I'm trying to do who I'm playing against so I feel like playing somebody who's more uh, close to my skill level you might see me put on a quick draw just so I can get that fast aiming on them but the laser sight so it just makes it that much easier to, to, to line up your sights on the enemy whenever you're sliding um, I run the EMP because there's also a um, challenge where you have to EMP enemies while they're using their specialist or while they're about to use their specialist. You have to EMP them off of it. You have to do it 10 times and it's a calling card for the challenge. Um, also with this class, I run scavenger, flag jacket, and tack mask. It's the same thing across every class. You might see me run perk 2 greed and put on anti up just so I'll be able to get my score streaks a little bit faster when playing against enemies. It's, it's, this is a shotgun and you don't you don't necessarily get into much gun as many gunfights with a shotgun as you do with an assault rifle. I put on anti up so that whenever I'm about to get close to my streets, it just it takes what uh, either 50 to 100 extra score or less than what it would normally take. Now moving on to the next weapon, this XR2 has got to be the greatest gun in freaking Black Ops 3 history so far. After M8, but after I say excuse me, after the M8 has been nerf the xr2 is just always a one to two burst weapon every single gunfight it never fails and it's most of the time a one burst i don't know this gun is amazing but like i said with this weapon because it's a burst fire i'm gonna put on rapid fire so that i be able to uh shoot it a little bit faster and, and you know basically that that's basically all i use it for i can shoot the weapon a little bit faster you could and i like the uh xr2 because you can hold down on the fire button it's going to continuously shoot versus the m8 where you have to constantly tap the fire button in order to shoot the weapon I know I just, I just think that the XR2 is a little bit better than the uh, M8 but this class is going to be running the ELO stock fast mag and rapid fire and I'm moving on to the next class we have the ICR ICR was one of my favorite weapons in the game whenever it first came out but you know they, they've nerfed it a couple times and you got to run rapid fire fast mags and stock on this weapon it's like a must have on this weapon or you can also run um, high caliber also also helps with this weapon. You don't really need a grip or a reflex on this weapon because of the simple fact that it, it has like virtually no recoil on this weapon, so you don't really need any uh, extra attachments that's going to help with long range engagements. Um, I don't know exactly what I was doing right here in the video, but I'm just going to continue drugging out. So the HVK I believe has the highest fire rate out of all of out of all of the assault rifles. It's about the same fire rate as a VMP, according to the stat chart. It is it's one bar below the VMP. If you put rapid fire on it, it maxes it all the way out. And I believe that's the reason why a lot of people pick a lot of news pick me off easily with the HVK when camping is because of the fire rate. It has like literally the exact same fire rate as the Vesper. So. That's, that it makes perfect sense it has a decent range it has a decent damage and it has a very overpowered firing rate on that weapon but like I said trip mine is going to go on every class the way my the, the way that I play is a little bit passive passive aggression passive aggression excuse me I can't get my words out right now so what I'll do is whenever I cap home flag I'll throw a trip mine on it and then I'll run a bravo get a couple capture kills and then proceed on to Charlie and um do the same thing on that side, throw another uh, trip mine down and run back and forth between the map. That's the way I keep my score minute up, and that's just the way I play in domination. I like to play that way. It's easy wins and it's easy score. So, moving on to the next class, if I will, I don't remember what I was doing here. I probably was saying more about something in the class. MR6, like I said, it's, it's, I don't necessarily run MR6 on every class after I get into the high levels because you might see me put on perk 2 greed, like I say, or you might see me put on a reflex on the weapon. But since I'm so low level right now and I just prestige a couple hours ago, you're going to see me running the MR6 on just about every class. So, moving on to the next. Like I said, if this will, the Vesper class, moving on to the best submachine in the class besides the um, Uda. So, in the Vesper, these are like must-have attachments on this weapon. You got to have fast mags, you have to have grip, and you have, most of all, you have to have the extended clip. The standing max helps because of the firing rate is so high on this weapon. You use the standing max. Excuse me, my headset went out. You use the standing max to um, P 
pick off more than one enemy at a time. Like most of the time when you get into gunfights with somebody, you're probably going to use up at least 80% of the clip with this weapon unless you have an extended mag. So you're going to get two to three people with one clip out of this, depending on your accuracy and depending on where the enemy is at. So, of course, with this class, I'm running RK5. Like I said, you're going to see me running RK5 for the L card, the L card 9, depending on what weapon it is. I'm using as my primary or depending on who I'm playing against. I like to use the RK5 on this on this class because the rest has a very high firing rate so it damages the enemies a lot quicker than what uh, assault rifle would or any other weapons in this class would so they're gonna already be one shot so why use a weapon that um, you have to keep shooting or anything like that when you can just easily get the the RK5 in one burst and with it. So moving on to the next this is my spawn trapping class I have the Dingo uh, with overkill VMP with fast mags. So basically, what I do is, as you see in my um, top 10 clips of the week, you're gonna see me spawn trapping a lot in that uh, in that clip in those gameplays. So what I do, I will just use my dingo, use all the whip, use all the ammo, all the excuse me, and switch to my VMP and just get the easy kills with that fast mags. You got to have the fast mags on there because I don't have fast mags on the dingo class. But trip mine is always so the trip mine outside of the spawn where they might spawn at and they run around and try to come back towards me after the spawn kill and they get blown up easy and these last two classes are just they're blank classes right now and that's basically all I have to uh, say about my class setups and those last two classes I might make another video on them but those are basically the weapons I use in multiplayer online now moving on into the next video I'm going to um, be showing you guys my stats in Black Ops 3 and in my opinion I think I have some pretty decent stats Compared to other uh, YouTubers and compared to uh, compared to other gamers who play this game, I currently have like 30,000 something kills, and um, what 30,000 something kills, and I'm like and I'm like I said I'm six prestige, but um, I could have been a prestige master by now, but I just chose not to be. Like I stayed at for, I stayed at level 55, no prestige, for like 16,000 plus kills. But as you see here, I have 30,000 kills, 771, 30,771 kills, 803 wins, a 9.56 win-loss ratio, 3.54 kill-death ratio, and a 527 score per minute. It is a decent score per minute for the game mode that I play. It could be a lot harder than what it is, but like I said, I play passive aggression, so I don't challenge as many gunfights as, uh, as you think I would. Um, if I feel like it's two enemies right there and they're pre-aiming where I'm coming from, I'm not going to challenge the gunfight. I'm going to go a flank on them. I'm going to throw a flashbang at them, depending on if I have it on my class. Or I might just not even challenge them at all. I might just go straight for the flag. Because like a lot of times, I play on combine, and whenever I'm going to the uh, Charlie flag, you can have enemies who sit right there on the side of that truck and the back of the spawn and just pre-aim the freaking doorway. So I die, from, I die right there a lot of times off of nuclear streaks. But if you, as you see here, I have 21 nuclears, 334 unstoppable metals, and I also have 84, I believe, for relentless metals, metals, and 45 brutal metals. <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of the times you see that um, I'll get gameplays where I go on like a 21 or a 22 gun streak and just die. It's so annoying. I can have over, I can have close to 100 nuclears right now if it wasn't for me dying on those 20, 21 gun streaks and stuff like that. But that's basically all I have to say about my stats, you guys. Thanks, you guys, for watching it. If this uh, video was any way helpful to you guys, be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you like to see my gameplays, upcoming gameplays, any more class setup videos, anything like that, just be sure to press this uh, subscribe button. And um, hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. This is the end of the commentary. It's a